Okay guys, so welcome to this recipe which is uh, teriyaki. We've got three different uh, types of teriyaki. We've got the either the chicken, the salmon or the tofu. So I'm cooking the chicken, um, but I will explain the different, um, difference with the, cooking the salmon and the tofu. What you will need to do in preparation is just make sure you've got your utensils. So I've got some tongs, a spoon, a fine grater, a teaspoon, a knife, and a chopping board and a mixing bowl. Got a big frying pan or a wok to cook the food in and you need a big pan of steaming water because that's to cook the noodles. So the tops will probably wilt down pretty quickly. A bit like when you kind of wilt spinach in a pan. Um, I don't want to overcook these. I want a nice bit of crunch in there and they will go back in the pan with the uh, the chicken in a minute. So nearly done. So just going to put those on a plate for now. I'm going to reintroduce them to the pan in a second. Right, just before we start cooking the chicken I'm just going to drain off these noodles now this part here is going to be quite fast okay what we want to do is going to put some oil in the pan and this is a really hot pan I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit I don't want it to be too ferocious so I've got it medium hot now we're not going to put the marinade in the pan just the chicken or the tofu or the salmon okay if it goes a bit too crazy, just lift it off the heat. So it goes quite ferocious to start with. I'm going to leave the marinade in the bowl. I'm going to pour that on in a minute. So just the chicken. And we're basically going to do the same with the tofu or the salmon. The tofu, you don't need to worry about so much because you can't really undercook it. But you just want to make sure all the sides are nicely toasted. The chicken, you need to make sure that all the pieces of the chicken are really well cooked. With the salmon, what we're going to do with the salmon is put it skin side down in the pan. And you want to leave it skin side down for quite a while. So let's turn this back up a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is just, it's got quite a sticky sauce in here. So the mirin, the honey is very sweet. There's lots of sugars in there. And it's going to start to reduce down and it's going to start to blacken in the pan. So that blackening isn't actually burning. It's all the sugars caramelizing. And teriyaki is supposed to be black, okay? Nice big scoop full of noodles and make sure you get a nice lot of the chicken in there as well. And that is a really quick and easy dinner. Chicken teriyaki with pak choy and egg noodles. Thank you very much. Enjoy your teriyaki.